Overall markets are dropping as treasury yields and oil prices continue to rise. What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech Solutions and here is what we're setting up for today. So as of right now, I've closed my position on SQQQ and preparing to enter TQQQ as we are approaching these overbought levels. Now, there's no question that this thing can continue to rally. So if I get no confirmation of a reversal, I will not enter another trade on TQQQ. But on the four hour time frame, again, really important to understand overbought, oversold, overbought levels. Yes, it can continue to rise. And that's something, of course, that I have to take into consideration because we are showing a lot of signs of consolidation here and no signs of progress on the downside. So I have to respect the bears as again, as QQQ goes up, as the NASDAQ market goes down. And it looks like as of right now, we're really going through a nice little rut where the NASDAQ market just can't really find its ground, right? It continues to show signs of lower lows and lower highs. And that's, of course, in favor of SQQQ. So I'm going to keep my trading very, very simple today. Um, if we actually end up getting that confirmation of that reversal, um, I'd like to take a trade on TQQQ on the way down. Uh, and then if it continues to validate its support here on the moving average for SQQQ, right? We rallied up, we pulled on back, found the support here at the moving average. We rallied up, pulled on back, found the support here at the moving average. So I would love to play both sides if the opportunity presents itself. As of right now, SQQQ is just too overbought for my taste based off of this nice little recovery. So if I don't get that reversal, then again, I'll stay cash for the remainder of the day. Uh, but I just wanted to make you guys aware of, of course, uh, why the markets are dropping as of right now, how it could continue to sell off, right? If we end up showing no signs of a reversal. And trust me, um, I mean, you do not want to put yourself in a position that you want that you will end up regretting, especially if we have no confirmation, right? You entering a position does not justify that the, the stock itself has to reverse right when you enter, right? We have to stop pretending uh, that we are the sole reason on why these stocks move, right? We're irrelevant to the market. We're irrelevant to the play, right? And this is one thing that I've talked about before to my LPP team. I want to dance with the market. I don't want to step on its toes or force it to do something that it's not already doing, right? Because the market will always win. The market's the leader, right? So as of right now, higher highs, higher lows, and all in favor of SQQQ. And yes, it can continue to rise. When it comes down to QQQ on this one hour time frame, we did surpass previous lows uh, that we had here right around uh, what is this? 354. Uh, right now we're trading at 352.75 and continuously showing signs of lower lows and lower highs. Again, the NASDAQ market is literally just struggling to find its feet, right? Uh, it, has, is, it has no support. We're not trading above the EMA line. We continue to get rejected by that moving average. Let's not overcomplicate it, right? Um, this is one thing that I just shared with the LPP team. I set my alerts and I'm gonna wait for true confirmation. And once we get that, then great. And if we don't get that, then again, today's just one day out of 252 trading days that's in favor of the bears, right? So you either work with it or you definitely don't wanna work against it, right? So I would rather take no position than an open position when obviously direction is not favorable. So you guys let me know what you think about that. When it comes down to economic reports, durable orders uh, did come out today a little bit better than uh, what was expected. Expectation at negative 0.2% and it came in at 0.2% and then durable orders, uh, durable goods came in with X transportation came in at 0.4% when the expectation was 0.3%. So again, a little bit higher than what was expected. There is as of right now, a lot of negative market sentiment. You can punch air, you can think that the market has to do something that you want it to do, but guess what? It does not. The market can continue to sell off and you either respect it or you end up paying the price for it, right? You're the only person that is putting yourself in a position that's open to risk and that's if you choose to open a position. If you see that conditions are not favorable, let's say that you just don't want to short the market, you don't want to go into SQQQ, I respect that. But you also need to understand when it makes sense to stay cash versus putting yourself in a hopeful position when obviously conditions are not in your favor. So I'm very excited to follow up. Again, it's only a matter of time. Allow the market to bleed. That simply means that you're just going to get it for a cheaper price once and if it actually begins to show signs of a recovery. So I'm excited to follow up. Uh, I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's live session. Again, if you guys have any questions, shoot me a direct message right now via Discord, which is the first link in the description down below. Um, and if you want to be able to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, that is that second link in the description down below. Appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we're in the year on a green note. Take it easy team.